Hey, welcome all to my new series on YouTube, What Is That Aesthetic? <laughs> Little intro, because I'm new to this, you're new to me. I'm Gia Latiri. I go to Syracuse University in my first year. I'm in the architecture major, and I'm originally from Scranton, Pennsylvania. Literacy and fashion is kind of different and unique because of how subjective fashion is. How do you know something that is so subjective? What is the definition of literacy in fashion? Literacy in fashion is recognizing fashion and wearing fashion and respecting all different types of fashion. Knowing what you're talking about, knowing what people that know fashion are talking about. Here are some definitions that you should know going into this. Staple piece, an important item of clothing that can be worn with anything. Statement piece, an item of clothing that is central to design, erupts inspiration and curiosity. Trendy, what is deemed popular by pop culture. Wear it. Just wear it. Expressing yourself, wearing it, going out, curating an outfit, and showcasing it. Now that we know what literacy and fashion is, Let's start with the aesthetic we are going to get into today. Today, we are talking about streetwear. I chose this because it is the most easy to get into, and it is the most accessible fashion, and it is timeless. A little background on streetwear. So it kind of developed through subcultures. So hip hop fans, skater boys, surfer boys, some people, some names you should know, Dapper Dan, Sean Stussy, James Jabaya, James Jabaya or Jebia, I don't know how to say it, which is screwed up, I should know how to say it. Creator Supreme, Sean Stussy, creator of the fashion brand Stussy, Dapper Dan, his story's a little different and a little more interesting, and that's why I'm gonna highlight a little more in this video. Dapper Dan was Kind of one of the first black men to do something with fashion, to get credit for it. He just recently got credit, which is a little screwed up, but he would run shops like in the back of his trunk and like little rundown areas in Harlem, maybe in the 90s, 80s area era. And he'd make like knockups of like designer brands, like kind of fake, but like his own spin on them. And he ended up getting like attacked for like stealing these labels and stuff and shortly after those said labels stole his designs and he ended up collaborating with them because he like called them out he dragged them he dragged them through the mud for it and he got the credit he deserves and he's a big name if you want to research i'll give links below more into him he's really inspirational with certain streetwear fashion especially people that are into hip-hop get into the nitty gritty <laughs> Getting into outfit examples, ideas, inspiration, let's get into something that's a little more off topic, but very important. That although streetwear is accessible, there are brands that you should avoid that are unsustainable. What do I mean by that? Unsustainable fashion is fast fashion industries that go around labor laws, use crappy material, and deplete the earth's resources. Brands that I've noticed, done some research on, um, that you should avoid, obviously Shein, that's a big new one. Do not shop from there, just because it's easy and it has everything. Just try to avoid it. Um, Zara, H&M, Forever 21, Pretty Little Thing, try to avoid it. Another big one that is more expensive and more highly like glorified, Nike. That's a little harder to avoid because of how popular it is, especially because like sportswear is so popular in streetwear. But there are definitely other brands that you can shop from besides Nike. Um, some sustainable ways to shop that are also accessible would be thrifting or thrifting online, buying secondhand online, buying from individual sellers or small businesses. Vlog portion of the video. Let me show you just a bit of what I indulge in. A bit of what I buy from said sustainable brands. So I'm gonna show you my 
my very small but important graphic tee collection. So I'm just gonna show you a bit of my favorites. So starting with this shirt that I was gifted. A crisp, a crisp white tee. Another crisp white tee. Now this piece, I bought off of an individual seller on Instagram, Mamona World, or Mamona, I, I'll leave the link below. A nice, different, different type of streetwear baggy shirt would be the old time affliction tees. Not that old, but, you know, they're my father's. Front, back, they have this loose fit that's just perfect for the streetwear idea. Another, but more tightly fitted, you can always wear a tightly fitted shirt, doesn't matter. Ed Hardy, great brand, very easy to find on Poshmark and Mercari, and it's not expensive at all. And every shirt they have is just the best thing on the planet. Another shirt from Mamona World. Oh, just random graphics. Amazing. People don't even have to know what's on your shirt. They just know you're cool. Now, obviously, it, fashion doesn't... Now, fashion does mean you're cool, but it doesn't matter what fashion. A shirt I bought off of Etsy from an individual seller. Band tees, always, always. They work with everything. A classic shirt, one I thrifted. Hard Rock Cafe. You need a Hard Rock Cafe shirt in your collection. And they're all over thrift stores. You do not have to buy it off of Urban Outfitters, Paxson, any of that garbage. You don't. You can shop there, that's right. I'm just saying, there is easy ways to get these shirts. Band tee. Got at the beach from some random little boutique. It was like 20 bucks. Very accessible. Very accessible. Now those are just a couple shirts. Let's get into accessories. As you can tell already, loaded up with jewelry. Got the sunglasses on. I got the belts. Here, take a peek. What's going on? What's going on? You can even use stuff that's not meant to be used that way. Like, the thing I have on my belt said necklace. Using it as like a little chain. Get creative. It doesn't matter. So, just a little collection of my, my bracelets. My necklaces and a little potting plant thing. My rings and earrings. Get yourself some little things. Collect up. Half of my stuff's thrifted or found literally like around my home. Tamagotchi, put this on your pants. Put your chains on your pants. Put your chains in your ear. Hang them off of an earring. Sunglasses, so important. And sporty sunglasses are in. They might look stupid, but just wear them. Just wear them. Fake glasses, be one of them. Hats. Hats, always. Belts, holy cow belts. Look at, thrifted this. Two dollars. Like it's not, and I live in PA. Thrifting is horrible. It is available, it is there. You know what I do too every day? I wear headphones even if I'm not listening. Look so cool, you look, you look like you like indulge in media. That's a whole part of streetwear. So starting with surveys that I collected over the past couple weeks from random people on Syracuse campus, mainly freshmen and sophomores, um, I kind of just would randomly select people. The answer I got to the first question I asked, what do you think of when you hear streetwear? People would give definitions, places, clothing items, but a common thing was people said New York City, 
cargo pants and many pockets. I asked people how they would do streetwear. Everyone had somewhat of a similar idea. Sneakers, baggy pants, graphic t-shirts, tank tops, and accessories. My favorite answer for the question, are accessories important, quoted by a fellow 2026 graduate classmate of Syracuse University, Andre, said that accessories elevate everything. Simple gets to the point. special guest tonight is my good friend from way back home, Jonas. Everybody welcome Jonas! Hi! Oh, this is so good. When you hear the word streetwear, what do you think of? I think of baggy, graphic tees, cargo pants, like nothing really too form fitting. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you show? More lax. Do you show streetwear? So street fashion. Yeah. Um, I've never walked the street to so street fashion. I haven't. What? I don't like go to the city much. I, I guess, guess street fashion occasionally. Mhm. Mm but I never Not find myself city. giving street fashion where it should be given. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's a good thought. What do you guys think of that? What do you think of the place? Does the place matter when it comes to streetwear? Give me what? an outfit example. Of streetwear? What do you... Okay, it depends. What would you wear? Because going if back you to had, location... No, but if you had the chance to be in New York City... Okay, New, New York. Because I was going to say, there's like a difference between New York yep, and LA. Next stop, New York. So like New York, I'm definitely thinking... I don't know. All, an all black moment, oh, but sleek, yep. wet looking. Mm -hmm. That kind of black good moment. Good word. Wet looking is not a good word. No, it is though. Like describing like, it, like just it's like, a person. Like, it just, it's just this like moment. Mm -hmm. And like you're like such just like stark difference from like the gray around you. Because it's like so dark. Or, like, you can go totally like neon, mm -hmm. like a baggy white shirt, like a crisp white shirt with some like good neon graphic print on it, mm -hmm. and like some baggy pants, any color, but like maybe the color of the neon that you're wearing on your shirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I always have glasses, even yeah. if it's dark outside. I don't have them right now. It's just so. Long. <laughs> What's your outfit in LA? In LA, I feel like. It's not as this like professional place where like you just pull out and like show the most. Because yeah. New York City, it's like you want to stand out because there's hundreds of people walking the street and like you want to be the people. Can I cut? Yeah. You want to be the person that people look at and see. Wow, like they stood out from everybody, and yes. everyone's already doing the most. But then in LA. It's like, there's people that really don't care, and then there's people who care, so it's the people who care don't show you hard. That's funny, because I'm from, like, I'm from Pennsylvania, That's from right. earlier, we know. Same I would so think right. the, like, opposite. Like, in New York, nobody cares. It's like, only certain people stand out sometimes in LA, it's kind of like, everybody's, <laughs> everybody's bleep doing the most, you know? Yeah, I mean... I don't know, in LA, it's just like, only when you're in shopping districts, mm -hmm. it's really like, okay. yeah. crazy. But, that's where like, there's more people wearing just baggy XL shirts, and baggy pants, or no pants at all, and that's like, wow, they're doing so much. Yeah. That's LA. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, accessories, what do you think? What do we think? Accessories, jewelry, like rings. Either like throw them all on or only have a couple. Yeah. Like you either need like two really small rings or you need like ten rings, like one on each finger, maybe mm -hmm. stacked. Yes. You need to go like all out or not. Mm -hmm. Necklaces, I like to stay like a bit more dainty. Mm -hmm. Unless like you're going for some killer vibe, then you can like throw on some chunky necklaces. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um. This is really bad. Th that's it. It's over. That's it. Yeah. That's all we have time for that's today. All.